Liz, I'll help. I'll help you. Um. What? I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help distract you from this. So, <laughs> as a as a British person, I obviously have no idea. But what? How does chicken fried steak actually work? What is that? Uh, it, it's okay. Me. I don't blame you for not knowing it, dude. It's okay. Yeah, no, it's just like, help me understand, so it distracts yep. you from wanting to- Go ahead, I'll, I'll let, I'll let Jesse explain it. Alright, yep. so the idea about chicken fried steak is, is that you take grounded beef, and, like, not super grounded, like, you pound the actual steak, the actual part Tenderize of the beef. it. Yeah, tenderize it, and then you add a breaded crust on it, like, use bread, flour, breaded flour, egg, and whatnot, and then you fry it in a deep fry, like a chicken soup. Like when you cook some, fried chicken. Some prefer to pan fry, some will deep fry. What I like to do is I like to take heavy whipping cream, uh, and uh, I make my own uh, flour batter, which is basically a combination of flour, cayenne pepper, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of extra pepper for kick, uh, a little bit of onion salt, and garlic powder. Ooh. And I mix that into the flour. Oh yeah, I like my seasonings, man. And so Liz, what I do is I crazy. double dip. I double dip the steak. Yeah, and it's rounded. It's rounded up steak. Um, I double. Uh, I first dip it in the uh, the wet. Dip it in the flour. Dip it back in the wet. Dip it back in the flour. Cause it adds an extra crust. And then I pan fry. So good. Ooh, man, you're gonna make me crave that now, Blissy. Stop. <laughs> I, make that. I think I, so I, think I still have. I think I still have a uh, tenderized steak in the freezer too. I need to make that next week. So chicken fried steak is simple to the point and self-explanatory. Pretty much, it's basically frying a steak. Mm. Yep. It's, it's all it is. really, it's really good because the meat will be already nice and tender, so it'll be so good to eat. Mm. Especially if you like season it the right way, give it the right kind of seasonings that fits to your taste. It is perfect for all kinds of meals. Especially if you dip it in, like, white gravy. It's very popular with white gravy. Some people prefer brown gravy, but I'm not really picky about it. I eat it as it is, because I like it as it is. <laughs> Shit. Another one that... This is actually something that is considered one of my mom's best things that she can cook. Oh, she can make the best um, sausage cabbage you could ever have. <laughs> Basically, what she does is she cuts up the cabbage, but before she puts it in, she first cooks up the sausage. And usually, we use like simple, like sausages you can find them everywhere. But we mostly prefer the turkey ones. Um, and then after the grease from the sausage gets cooked up and it's cooked it up, then you pour the cabbage into the all like the grease of it, and the grease of the sausage blends in with it and helps cook the cabbage and it's so delicious i don't know how it just turned it just always turns out so fucking good like um Come there's on. another one that um that actually is something my grandmother used to do on my dad's side i don't know how she somehow makes an incredible dressing turkey dressing no oh my god that was so close but she just makes really great chicken dressing. Or not chicken, turkey dressing every Thanksgiving. <laughs> I love that we have this really intense boss fight in the background and meanwhile we're talking about turkey dressing. <laughs> Sorry. Ask all, do you like macaroni and cheese? Yes. How can you not? It's a classic. I make my own. My sister bakes hers. Baked macaroni and cheese, done right, it is super good. Hey guys, am I cool to drag Wolfhead into the chat because- Go ahead! Yeah. 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 I know. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, uh, Bliss, you do realize that a uh, meeting well is is also uh, a, a style of cooking your, uh, your meat, right? Yes, for steak, and it's blasphemy in Texas, so shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Final boss of the entire game. We're it's so sad it's in California. We're not, not that I care. This. Not that I care because I don't like chili, but it's also blasphemy in Texas to put beans in our chili. Thank you. Beans actually make it taste, uh, make the, uh, have the chili taste a bit more bland. I have never heard of it that way, honestly. 
it's it's so in most other states yeah it, they will put red beans or brown beans in their chili or black eyed peas it depends on where you go in texas no we don't do that we don't like beans in our chili it's been tradition here hmm. okay there's another ask all hand ask all we can all agree however that the best kind of pizza is new york style am i right I yes I don't, yep. I don't like to fight i, I am not going to touch that one <laughs> i mean I, see i i like all pizza what's my, your favorite okay actually i'm kind of simple and yet i'm kind of fancy i like ah. margarita pizza Ooh. i love pepperoni pizza i like the margarita pizza it's a royal pizza did you know that Ooh. Huh. Yeah, Ooh. okay i for saw me, I, I read the history on it it's really cool <laughs> Okay, here's mine, and you're gonna- I'm gonna probably get a lot of raised eyebrows for this. I prefer to have mine as, like, a four cheese with Shit. Canadian bacon, black olives, and it- and have it in the white sauce. Okay, you lost me on the white sauce, but everything else, yes. Okay, the white- there is a way where you can use- switch the tomatoes- the tomato sauce to Alfredo sauce. <laughs> I don't like Alfredo sauce on a pizza! There's enough cheese on it, woman! Ah, oh, great job, San Francisco! You ruined pizza! Oh, <laughs> but if it was not, if it's not broccoli like a... on pizza! Yeah, who puts I've, broccoli I've... on pizza? I agree. <laughs> oh my god, but it's finally I expect, I expect to have less raised eyebrows and more people going just why there, because, like... <laughs> I like thing... Canadian bacon! Okay, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Boy. Sorry! Sorry! Oh. No, you're not. None of you are sorry. Everyone does it. Everyone here, everyone on the server, everyone everywhere has stuff so much more important to talk about. And I'm just like, okay, I'll just I'll just be here in the background somewhere. Cool. Hey, no, no. Wait, what's happening? I'm taking the piss out of the fact that people always interrupt me. I'm Boy. So sorry! I'm, I'm having fun, don't worry. <laughs> alright, alright, let, let's let's style things down a bit. We'll, we'll go ahead, Logic, what were you gonna say? Okay, so... I used to really enjoy pizza until it started becoming all we'd ever had in the house. So during my childhood and, you know, early teen years and stuff, I was just oversaturated with pizza. So now I feel like I've had my fill and I can kind of live without it for a while. Yeah. If that okay. makes sense. Yeah, I understand logic. It says the reason why is because I don't know if it's Alfredo sauce or it's some kind of white sauce. But I always thought it was Alfredo. Okay. <laughs> but it's a type of white sauce that you Sorry can for use that use noise. That you can use as like a replacement to the red uh, tomato sauce on the pizza. But yeah. It's the logic, I understand how you feel, because that All was right. me with Taco Bell. That's it. I started to slowly keel over Taco Bell, because I kept getting it so many times when I was with my ex. So, yeah. I would just like to say, Gold and Silver has been defeated by food. Based on this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't handle it. Nope, he what? just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make that joke. Uh, it's finally done. I finished the story. Oh, no. boy. I feel oh like... um, Wheels uh, ask, uh, ask Liz, maybe if it was garlic parmesan sauce on a pizza. No, I just prefer marinara. Just regular tomato sauce. I, I don't like... I don't like other sauces on a pizza. Call me crazy. That's fair. But it has their own taste. You don't like like ranch or like um, well, any like of the other dip, ones? I like to dip my pizza in ranch. I don't like it to be the primary sauce of a pizza, though. So, oh, now I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, because I mentioned that I like the white sauce that you can use as like the replacement to the tomato sauce in pizza. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. With um, with some black olives, four cheeses, and Canadian bacon. Yeah, mm. that's my pizza. Hi, Faith. I see you in the chat. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Faith Star. Yep. Oh God.
god, Morpheus, how can you handle hot sauce on a pizza? That's just killing it. Hey, I like having Tabasco sauce on my pizza. I, I can't handle it because I'm very picky with spicy. Oh. You know what? Oh. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The Magic Star has asked all, have you tried barbecue sauce as a pizza base? No. Yes. Unfortunately, no. yes. I have tried it once at CC's, and it actually wasn't very good to me. Like, yeah, it, uh, that's overdoing it. No, just yes, stick with yes. pizza sauce. Um, but I, want, I wanted to say earlier that I kind of blame that one Tabasco ad for uh, the reason why I sometimes like to put a uh, hot sauce on my pizza. Because there was, uh, some of you may know this, there was an ad where a guy's just, like, he's sitting at a porch of a house, and he's just putting, uh, Tabasco sauce, it's a Tabasco commercial, and he's, uh, just eating pizza, and he's eating, uh, a pizza pizza with it, and a mosquito comes in, and sucks, uh, you know, sucks blood from him, and then he goes to fly off, and then it explodes from the distance, it's hilarious. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna say, Jesse, though, Jesse, your first mistake with CC's pizza was going to CC's pizza. <laughs> Just saying. Also, on That's the topic... It. All fairness. On the topic of barbecue sauce, I actually have a massive stockpile of the stuff from repeat, mm. like, friggin... Repeat McDonald's meals. Just a bunch of them. And... Like... I don't know why I still have them. But I need to use them for something. So at some point, I think I'm gonna go and find something in my house that could theoretically go with barbecue sauce, or just wait until the next time I have McDonald's and then try and use it all for once on that. That is a lot of barbecue sauce. Is that uh, awesome? Yeah, uh, I, I, I see an interesting. Sorry, it's just that I see an interesting story in the chat. Of an angry grandfather getting banned from CC's Pizza. I hope this story plays out. Anyway, go ahead, Logic. <laughs> okay. Like, let me just check. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five pots down here, and then downstairs, I think I have eight more. What so the just... heck? And I also, for some random reason, have ketchup. Oh no, wait, I have six down here. I mean, up here. Dude, you are a. You are a dressing... No, you're a condiments hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of do that too. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I intended to use them like, for the There's fries and stuff. Hoarders. And on another note, um, so that was the end of uh, Gunstar Heroes. <laughs> Huzzah. Huzzah, yes. And we, and we ended on Golden Fox admitting to be a condiments hoarder alongside Logic. Um, we, I don't we, know. we clearly need to have an intervention. Yes, I just want to say, yeah. So on that note, condiments away.